Welcome back. In the first part of the video, I showed you how to make a very simple shirt from the top part of an old dress. In this section, I'm going to show you how to make the skirt from the bottom part of the dress. So what we should be left with from the previous uh, cutting exercise is a piece of material which looks like this. So there's a seam on both sides and there is the original hem which will remain untouched. This particular dress did have a lining which I've separated and I put it on this mannequin. I'm going to show you using this fabric exactly the process which will be involved in transforming it into a skirt. So if this is your original um, fabric and what it looks like, what we're going to do is we're going to take in uh, both sides like this and you'll see the shape of the skirt forming. Okay, we're going to neaten the top part of the skirt so it's no longer a raw edge and on the back you'll find that a lot of dresses like the one that I had have a seam running down the middle. So I'm going to unpick the seam to about halfway and I'm going to attach an invisible zipper to form the fastening. There are a few measurements that you need to take um, just to make sure that the skirt fits. The first measurement is around where you want the skirt to sit on your body. So usually that's just below the waist. So I'll show you how you do that. So take a measurement around just below the waist. So for me, that's around 33 inches. And then take a measurement around the widest part of the hip, which would sit around here. For me, that's around 37 inches. And now take a measurement from where the skirt's going to start to the widest part of the hip, where that is. So that will be like that. For me, that's around five and a half inches. So make sure you jot these measurements down for the next steps. Okay, so I've turned the main part of the skirt inside out and I've laid it on a flat surface. As you can see, this is the hem and the seams on both sides are now visible, as is the seam down the middle, which is only on the back of the dress. So what we're going to do now is translate the measurements that we took and put them on to the skirt. <clears throat> the first measurement that we took was of the top part of the skirt, which is where it will sit. If you remember, that was around 33 inches for me. So I'm going to find 33 inches on a measuring tape and then fold the tape in half. That will give me the measurement for one side. So that is 16 and a half inches. So go ahead and pop the measuring tape on top of the skirt at the top. You need to make sure that half of, half of that value, which here is eight and a quarter, lies directly on top of the middle seam. Now make a marking on either side. The next measurement that I'm going to translate is the one which goes from the top of the skirt to the hip. So for me that was five and a half inches. I'm going to start around 1.5 centimetres from the top for seam allowance and mark where that falls. So five and a half inches falls around there. And you can see I've made marking. The next measurement is the hip around. So that was 37 inches. Find 37 on the measuring tape. Half the measuring tape, like so. <clears throat> and that gives me 18 and a half inches. So place the measuring tape again on top of the skirt, making sure that the mid value, which is nine and a quarter, again falls on top of the middle seam and make a marking on either side. Okay. 
Now I'm going to join those two points in a sort of curved shape. The idea is that the seam that we're going to sew is going to go down and eventually join the original seam from the dress. So, because I don't like um, material to be too fitted around the hip, I'm actually going to measure around uh, one centimetre extra on either side of the, the hip measurement, like so. Now I'm going to join up the waist measurement to the hip measurement and then gradually incorporate it into the original seam. So there's no perfect art to this, just make sure that it's a nice curved shape like so and from the bottom just incorporate it into the original seam. Do the same on the other side. Like so. I think that with this, the most important measurement is the one at the top because that will ensure that the skirt um, falls in place. And then the hip measurement can be a little bit looser. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to sew um, a simple stitch using a sewing machine on the line that I've just made. So make sure you secure both ends with a back stitch and then when you get to the, the original seam, make sure that you've overlapped a little and then again secure with the back stitch. Okay, so after sewing on both sides, I'm left with this. I've chopped off the extra fabric which was on that side. Um, and if I turn the skirt material inside out, you'll see that a nice shape has formed so it's more cinched in around the waist and it's looser around the bottom. Um, I would really advise trying this on to make sure it fits and if you find that it's a little bit too loose you can um, cinch it in a bit more by sewing a bit of a tight seam around the top. And now I'm going to follow exactly the same process for the lining material so I've marked out the waist and the hip and I've joined those lines. I'm going to sew a seam on top of both the lines and then cut off any extra fabric. So I have my two pieces of the skirt here, that's the lining and this is the top part. What I'm going to do now is start to prepare for adding in the zip. So what I'm going to do is unpick this middle seam on both parts um, up to the hip measurement which I measured earlier so that's around five and a half inches plus a bit of seam allowance down. So after unpicking the seam along the back I'm left with this opening for the zip. Um, at this point um, I'd also done a little back stitch to secure the seam so it doesn't unravel. I'll show you the front piece as well. So here we go, and it's got the opening for the zip here, like so. And I've done a little stitch here to secure the seam. What I'm going to do now before attaching the zip is attach this top part to the lining from only the top raw edge. Okay. So now I'm going to slide the right side of the main fabric with the right side on the outside into the lining material and I'm going to make sure that the inside of the lining is the right side so no raw, raw seams um, and then I'm going to pin only the top raw edges around and then sew them. So I'll demonstrate that now. Now I've pinned the top edges of the lining and the main fabric together, making sure that the right side of the lining is facing the right side of the fabric. So it should look something like this. 
Now I'm going to stitch using a straight stitch 1.5 centimeters from the top edge to join the two pieces together and then we'll move on to attaching the zip. So you can see that the garment's looking more like a skirt now. So th these are the edges that we've just joined together. So you have the lining here and this is the outermost part. Um, there's a gap for the zip and now I'm going to turn the garment so the inside is showing. So this is again the stitch that we've just done. Um, the top part is the uh, main outer bit of the skirt and this is the lining. I'm going to show you how to attach the zip now. So the zip is going to go on this section. Um, so firstly we're going to attach it to the front bit and then we're going to attach the lining bit. So that should hopefully close up the last raw edges. Um, it is an invisible zip so this is why we're doing both parts separately so in the end there's no unsightly stitches or seams showing. So this is a bit more of the complicated bit. So take the more unsightly part of the zip and make sure it's facing up. The top of the zipper will need to be in line with the seam that we've just created, which is just here. So that is the, the opening of the skirt. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pin the zip one side of it to this fold here. Okay, now when I attach the zip here, one side of the zip to that fold, I'm only going to pin one part, one side of the fabric. So I'm not pinning the whole fold, I'm only pinning the top, the top fold to the zip. And I'm going to do that all the way down. I've pinned that down as you can see. Now I'm going to do the same on the other side. Firstly, I'm going to open the zipper so you can see what I've done. So that is the outside, this is the inside, and I'm able to open that fold. I'm going to repeat that process on the other side, making sure that the zipper will meet the parting here. Okay, so this is the zip pinned down. That's what it should look like. And now we're going to get to stitching. So stitch first this side. So stitch very close to the zip uh, parting all the way down and just to about where the opening is at the bottom. So in order to make the process easier I've taken a needle and a coloured thread which is easily visible and I'm just joining up what the pins are joining so that um, it's slightly easier on the sewing machine like so and do that on both sides. Okay, so now for the fun part. This is the zip as it's attached on the fabric. So I'm gonna sew each side one, one at a time. So this is the first side, and then I'm gonna sew the other side. I don't have a zipper foot, but for this part I would recommend it. So go ahead and pop the fabric under the, the sewing machine foot. Now make sure that at this point you only have the zip material and you have the outer fabric material. No other folds should come in here and pop it under and sew a straight line just close to the zipper plastic edge being very careful not to damage the, the sewing machine needle. 
and when I get to the zipper I can lift the foot up and just move move the zipper so it's not in the way of the machine foot. So I've stitched one side of the zip on now I'm going to do, do the same on the other side so again sew a line of stitching which is just attaching the, the main fabric to the zip there should be no other folds and when you get to the end just do a back stitch just to secure it now i've attached um, the zip to the main portion of the fabric. As you can see, it's quite nice and neat. Um, there's no seam showing on either side because it's hidden um, under the fold. And later on, you can press this so it's more tidy. Um, if I close the zip, you can see what it looks like as well. There we go. Um, now the process that is going to happen is we're going to do exactly the same thing uh, for the lining. So the lining needs to also be attached to the zipper on the inside. So just think that um, it's pretty much uh, a reflection of the outside. I've now folded um, in the lining like so and I'll show you how we're going to attach the zip to the inside section. So just like at the front, the lining will have also have a fold. So this is the fold. So the way that you're going to attach the zip on this side is again, the fold needs to go near the zipper and you're not going to sew a seam on top of the fold but you are going to sew on the inside. You're going to go through the gap at the bottom because the lining isn't attached um, fully at the bottom. So there is a space to pass your hand through. And then just bring the fabric around, okay, until you can see the zipper. Find, find the fold on the lining, which is here. Okay. Making sure the this fold is near the zip. Pin down this part of the lining to the zipper. So basically what you're going to have is three pieces of fabric here. So you're going to have the lining uh, which is parallel to the zip fabric and the main fabric, okay? So grab your pins and just start pinning across like we've done before. Ensure that the pre-existing fold of the lining is near to the zip opening. And then I'm coming up to the bottom opening of the zip and the bottom opening of the lining gap and I'm just going to carry on pinning straight down. Okay, so there we have it. And now what I'm going to do is get a needle and thread first and just secure that as a guide and then go ahead and sew a seam with the sewing machine making sure that I do a back stitch on the front and the bottom end. After I've done that, I'm going to do exactly the same on the other side of the zip, attaching the other side of the lining to the zip. Now, this is quite um, a tricky process, but um, it, is, it is doable. So just so that you can see on the camera a little more closely, um, this is the part that I've just pinned and you can see that um, there's a fold uh, which is quite close to the zip opening. Um, this part still has a raw edge so now I'm going to pin down that side also like so using, using the opening at the bottom to access it. 
So once I've um, once I've pinned that side down and sewed sewed the seam, I'll show you the finished product. Okay, so I'm pleased to say that actually went successfully, even though it was a bit of an experiment for me. Um, so as you can see, um, this the lining is now attached. Um, from the inside to the zipper as well. It almost looks like this could be the outside of the skirt uh, But it's the inside um, I'll show you what the outside main part of the skirt looks like So I've turned it uh, Right side out now So this is now the finished skirt um, I will show you the zipper which is here so it's nice and neat. Um, there it is. And um, there's no external seam showing. Um, so I'm quite pleased with the results here. And this is the front of the skirt, like so. Okay. And um, that's the end of this project. Thank you very much for watching. Um, I'll show you the finished product as I wear it now. And voila! I now have a skirt which I've made from an old dress. And here is the top that I created from the very same dress um, which I talked about in the previous video. Thank you very much for watching and please like and subscribe if you'd like more.